In this segment, I'm going to show you how to reset a Cisco switch back to its factory defaults. Now, from time to time, I know myself, I like to buy switch equipment or uh, just router equipment, that kind of thing in general, off the internet. And when I get that equipment, a lot of times it has a configuration already on it. And I don't want to spend the time going through and deleting things one by one. I just want to erase it back to the way it was when it came from the factory. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. If we take a look at my screen, I've already consoled into the the switch itself, I've got a 3550 here sitting in the in the studio next to me. If I press return to get into this guy, you'll notice it already has a host name there. If I go into it, I do a, a show run, give it that running configuration. It's going to show me a bunch of stuff that uh, I didn't do. Uh, a couple of um, switch ports in here. There's some that just went by. Let's see, there's one right there. I've got this switch port. It's in a VLAN. It's in access mode. I, I don't. I'm not looking for that. Also not looking for uh, this IP information that's here on VLAN 1. I want to get rid of all this stuff, and I don't have to go through what I, you know the, the itty-bitty stuff to get that done. One, one thing I can do. Now, it will take a little bit of configuration, a couple of restarts, but it'll be a whole lot easier than running through each one of these lines and seeing where I need to get rid of stuff. So the first thing I need to do is run the command write erase. That is going to erase the NVRAM that is on the system and take care of a lot of the configuration that's built in. After we do that, we'll need to restart it and then run another command with another restart to complete the job. But let's do that right erase, right erase. I just do that here from this mode, hit return. You'll notice it says erasing the NVRAM file system, remove all con uh, configuration files. Do you wish to continue? Hit return to confirm that. It says erase of NVRAM is complete. Now it's really, even though it is complete, we do need to restart the system. It will take just a minute for it to restart. So we'll go ahead and type the reload command. Actually, I'll uh, get that up here. Here we go. Reload command. Hit return. It'll ask, do you wish to proceed? Yes, I do. And once it's done there, you'll notice it says it's reloading for the reason of I've issued a command. And now the switch is restarting. Once it restarts, the bulk of this configuration should be wiped out. And we should see the auto configuration mode enabled and try to walk us through that. So we'll give it just a minute. And as soon as it's done, we'll jump back in here and, can, and finish up this uh, factory reset. All right, so now the switch is rebooted. It's gone through a little bit of the configuration and chatter that uh, starts when you start a Cisco switch for the first time. And it's asking me here, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? If that's what you would like to do, you could do that now. I'm, I'm not going to do that because I'll set it up manually. So I'll do a no here. And then it's going to ask me, do I wish to terminate the auto install? Uh, just hit return for yes. And if I press return here, You'll notice one of the first things that I can see that's different is this has changed. My prompt has changed here as uh, it was saying 3550-SW1. That host name has changed back to the default, which is switch one. That's a good thing. Now there is a, another command that we need to throw at this. We need to take a look here. If I go back into the switch and I do a show VLAN brief, I'll probably still have some VLAN information because doing the right erase does not delete that uh, information. So I've got some of these non-default VLANs still hanging around. And you might have a ton of these things. So uh, let me show you how to get rid of that as well. I'm going to go ahead and um, get through here. What we need to do is throw another command at it. It's just good old delete and then flash, give it a colon, and they, the item that we're deleting the file is vlan.dat, and I just did the, the auto tab complete there. If I hit return, it's going to ask me to delete that file. Yep, it's safe to do that. I'll confirm it, and now what do I need to do? Well, I need to reload the switch one more time, so I'll do a reload, hit return, confirm with that, and after one more reboot, we should have this switch back to the way it was as soon as it came off the factory floor there at Cisco. So we'll give it just a second to reload, and as soon as it's back up, we'll see if that VLAN information has disappeared. All right, so now the switch is rebooted. I went ahead and uh, bypassed all that. Do you wish to go into the interactive configuration mode for you guys? And I'm in the switch. Let's go ahead and uh, enable, do the uh, show VLAN brief command, and let's see if those, and they are gone. So we deleted that VLAN.dat file. I can also do a, a show VLAN, uh, or I'm sorry, interface VLAN one and see that there's no IP information here. All that stuff is gone. All those switch ports have been put back to their factory default. This switch is now ready for me to do whatever it is I please. And that, my friends, is how you reset a Cisco switch back to its factory defaults.